no matter the location. From OAK LA to LV, I'm a Raider. Raider Nation, what's going on? Who's going to be the Trent Brown replacement? I'm going to let you know here on today's episode of the Raiders Report. We're going to be breaking down which players the Raiders could go out and sign. Maybe there's a player in-house that could be the next right tackle. Or are the Raiders going to go out and draft somebody in this year's upcoming 2021 NFL Draft? If you're wondering why the Raiders are looking for a replacement, you live under a rock or you don't subscribe. I'm not 100% sure, but the Raiders traded Trent Brown to the New England Patriots. They saved $14 million. This lazy bum is no longer a member of the Silver and Black. He's going to go now to the New England Patriots. When he signed his record-breaking deal, four years, 66 mil, let's face it, it never worked out. He made $76,000 per snap in 2020, and it was just clear from the first day. He never wanted to be a Raider. So now you're looking for who the heck can start at right tackle because if you're looking at Sam Young, who's also going to be a free agent, you're like, oh, my Lord, this is – this is just about as ugly as it gets, and you are 100% right. So what I wanted to be able to do here is think of a way on who the Raiders could ultimately get to replace Trent Brown. But before I give you all those names, I want you all to help me out with something here. Who else was a little bit frustrated by the way Trent Brown treated Raiders and Raider Nation? Me? Yeah, if you're saying me, go to my Instagram, at MitchellRens365, and I want you to share this video that I made. It's just three minutes of me roasting Trent Brown. Tag me on Instagram at MitchellRens365. I'll make sure to share them. If you want to tag Trent, I'm not going to say no. I'm also not going to say yes either. But I want this thing to go viral. Let's show everyone how frustrated we are. And I actually think you'll get a chuckle out of it. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. If you're looking for Raiders news, rumors, draft free agency, and a whole lot more. We are the number one Raiders channel on YouTube because we are a channel for the nation, made by the nation. I don't do this show for players. I don't do it. I do it for y'all and to keep you guys updated because the craziest 2020 was, I understand that sometimes these shows can help you take away from what's going on in your life. They also do the exact same thing for me. So please hit that big red button and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss breaking news like the Raiders trading Trent Brown or the Raiders cutting incognito LaMarcus Joyner. Turn on your notifications. I've been saying it for weeks, years, months, ever. Turn them on. How do you do it? Go to your settings app. Scroll down. Tap YouTube. Tap notifications. And then turn on allow notifications. I'm going to ask you, are you tapping that? I'm hoping so. Also, the thing I've been preaching is if you do turn on your notifications and you're the very first person to comment on a video, I'm going to give you some love. So on March 9th, the first person that commented on my Trent Brown video today was XX Shava XX312. On March 8th, I had a video, I believe it was Incognito and then Joiner. So shout out to George1130. Shout out to Life of FD. Cool Breeze and Julio Alberto. If you want a shout out on the Raiders Report, subscribe. Turn on those notifications and make sure you're the very, very first person that ultimately comments on all of our videos. All right, y'all. So what's coming up right now? We're going to dive into some players that the Raiders could help replace Trent Brown in free agency. But before I get into those names, who's going to replace Trent Brown in 2021? I, it's a tough decision to make, right? Is it going to be a player in free agency? Is it going to be somebody in the draft? Is it going to be a player that the Raiders already have on their team? I freaking hope not. Or... Could it be actually somebody that they re-signed to bring back? So go down in the comments right now. Let me know who is going to replace Trent Brown in 2021. We're going to stick here at the free agency market. Number one on my list is Daryl Williams. No longer Taylor Martin because the Carolina Panthers, they decided to franchise tag him. So Daryl Williams, you're number one on my list here. This dude had a career year in 2020. Played 1,237 snaps. Sure, he suffered an injury in 2018. Torn right MCL and a dislocated patella, which definitely hindered his 2019. But he, when he was healthy... He was really good. So the fact that he could definitely be a much cheaper Trent Brown replacement is definitely something that you're looking for. You save that $14 million if you can invest that. Let's say you pay Williams somewhere around $10 million, million, give him like a two, three-year contract, probably three years. That's something that I'm definitely open to. But Daryl Williams, I'll say this, is probably the most talented option, at least at right tackle, for this Las Vegas Raiders team. So he's number one on my list. Now, we're going to be going from two on. We're going to keep on working down to five. I'm going to give you the top five guys in free agency. So, Williams is number one. 
At number two, I'm going to go to Rick Wagner. You can also look him up as Ricky Wagner from the Green Bay Packers. The Packers, they decided to cut him. They wanted to save some money. And for me, I like Wagner a lot. He's probably better as a pass blocker than a run blocker, which Williams was more of a run blocker. But he's also coming off one of his best seasons for the Green Bay Packers. I mean, according to Pro Football Focus, he was a top 15 right tackle last year. If you could bring him in two years, maybe three years, a little bit of a cheaper deal, he is going to make a lot less than a guy uh, like Williams. I'm thinking probably like four and a half, five million dollars a year. He's up there in age, but I mean, if I can pay this guy four and a half, five million dollars, it's definitely going to be something I'm interested in. Number three on my list of potential Trent Brown replacements, at least on the free agent market, I'm going to go Kelvin Beecham from the Arizona Cardinals, and he's a pretty interesting player from top to bottom. He's a guy that I know I've said multiple times on this show that I like a lot, and if you're looking to save some money, which the Raiders are absolutely 100% doing on the offensive side, I think he's actually your best bang for your buck signing at right tackle. Three straight seasons with 800-plus snaps, and he played in the 1,126 snaps in 2020. He played right tackle for the Cardinals, and that's really what I am looking for. I'm looking for somebody who's going to be out there on the football field who I can rely on. He's not the best name on this list. But honestly, if I was the Raiders, the guy that I would bring in is either Kelvin Beecham or Rick Wagner. Let's go to number four on my list here. It's Mike Remmers, and the reason why he's on here, he's, uh, he's an okay player. Like he's, he's an average right tackle. Three straight seasons with 870-plus snaps. And if you don't want to really spend big, right? Like, let's say you want to potentially go out and also draft somebody maybe in round three, round four. Then maybe a player like Mike Remmers makes some sense where you have a little bit of extra competition. He is coming off one of his best seasons. Played in 12 games, didn't allow a single sack. And when you have experience playing in the AFC West and you know the rival, I do think that helps you out a little bit here. So Mike Remmers, he's number four on my list. At number five, a Trent Brown replacement in free agency, it's Kyle Long. So he was retired last year, and when you got a name like Long, everybody from Raider Nation is going to be interested. So obviously his dad, Howie, is a Raiders legend, one of the greatest of all time. Kyle retired in 2020, but announced that he's going to be returning to the National Football League here in 2021. He could play offensive tackle. I think he could actually play some guard. And for a team that's lacking so much depth and experience on the offensive line, Kyle Long could actually be a pretty intriguing player. Now, let's say you bring him in for one year, right? Give him a pretty cheap deal, see what, it, see what happens. The Raiders also have some experience of finding a player who battled an injury, retired, and then they brought him back, and he was actually pretty good. That's Richie Incognito. So you already have a blueprint of how this could work, and maybe Kyle Long wants to retire in the silver and black, sort of like his dad did. So out of the five players that I just mentioned here that the Raiders could potentially sign in free agency, who do y'all think it is, right? Like, who would you pick if you had to sign one? Daryl Williams? I want you to type DW. Maybe it's Rick Wagner, type RW. Kelvin Beecham, KB. Mike Remmers, MR. Kyle Long, I want you to type KL. Let me know down in the comments section if you had to pick one of these free agents to sign at right tackle, who would you want to replace Trent Brown? Now, today's episode is presented by Panda Supps. If anybody out there is looking to stay in better shape, seriously, Pay attention. Go to chatsports.com slash cuts. Use code cuts to save 35% off on Panda Sup's brand new, just released Extreme Fat Burner. Panda Sup's also is a company owned by a diehard Raider fan. So if you want to get in shape and support a diehard Raider fan, it's the company to do it. The other reason why I absolutely love this product, I take one of these pills right before I get ready to do the show. Loads of energy without the crash. That's exactly what I'm looking for. You ever get to like that 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock window, it's not going to happen. Who else here gets hungry like at 11 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock, but you're like, you know what, I don't want to eat now. If you take this pro product, I promise you this, curbs your appetite, increase your energy, and you're going to lose some weight. Promise you. You can literally sit at your desk and lose weight. It's absolutely incredible. Normally, this product is $59.99, but if you go to chatsports.com slash cuts and you use code cuts, you're going to be able to save 35% off. It's an absolute steal. All right, how about this? Let's talk about this now. Could you potentially move Colt Miller to right tackle? One of the things that the Raiders did early on, remember when they had Donald Penn, they played Colt Miller at right tackle. He struggled. He definitely did, but he also battled a lot of injuries as a rookie. Now, in 2020, he allowed two sacks, but 
you saw a player take leaps and bounds of stride. So all I wanted to be able to do here is this. If the Raiders see a left tackle in free agency that they really like, maybe they can move Colt Miller to right tackle. Now the top three names on the free agent market that are playing left tackle that I think the Raiders could consider, Trent Williams, who... You could actually argue he's the best tackle in, in, in the NFL right now. Alejandro Villanueva, who I absolutely love. Great dude on and off the field. And then Russell Okun from Carolina. And since Russell Okun has also been a player that's battled some injuries, it does make me wonder just a little bit. So what do you all think about this? Where should Colton Miller play? Type LT for left tackle or type RT for right tackle. If you're typing RT, you better be able to go out and get a guy like Villanueva or go out and get a guy for Trent Williams at a halfway decent contract. For me, I am going to type left tackle. And when you continue to see how much better and better Colt Miller gets, I don't understand why you would move him. And if in terms of overall confidence... I would be pretty confident Colt Miller protecting Derek Carr's blind side. So I'm going to type LT. I'm not going to hate you, though, if you type RT. So that was the free agency list. How about this now? Now we're going to get into some players that the Raiders could go out and potentially draft to replace Trent Brown. Number one on my list is Rashawn Slater. The only name that you're not going to see is Penny Soul because, let's face it, He's never going to fall to pick 17. Rashawn Slater out of Northwestern. He's a prospect that I know Mike Mayock likes. In fact, he went to the Northwestern Pro Day. Slater can play guard. He can also slide out there at right tackle. Number two on my list is Tevin Jenkins from Oklahoma State. This is a big dude. Reminds me a lot of Colton Miller. Still trying to work into his body a little bit. He is great against the run. Definitely needs to get a little bit better against the pass, but... If you go out and draft him, you need to be patient like Colton because I could actually see him struggling early on but could be a very, very good player down the road. Plus, the Raiders also had a virtual meeting with Tevin, so I know they're interested. Number three on my list in terms of draft prospects, Samuel Cosme. This is how I actually think that the draft board is going to go. I think it's going to be Penny Soul is going to be the first tackle taken, then Slater, then Jenkins, then Samuel Cosme out of Texas. Number four on my list is Jalen Mayfield from Michigan. If you guys have been subscribed to the Raiders Report, you'll know that I've mentioned Jalen Mayfield's name before. This is probably a little bit more of a product that I'd hope that they would take on day two, but I actually could see Mayfield because of his upside being taken in round one. Number five on my list in terms of players that could replace Trent Brown in the 2021 NFL Draft, Alex Leatherwood from Alabama. He is a pretty good player from top to bottom but there is definitely some inconsistency there. Before I get to my day three picks, I do want to ultimately walk you through some players that I think the Raiders could draft on day two, so round two essentially. And some of these players, there's three names that come to my mind. And when I really think about them, I think it's some guys like the North Dakota player, whose name right now is absolutely escaping me. Radons, that's his name. But I think of James Hudson at number six. Spencer Brown is a name to keep in mind, and then Dylan Radons. If you were to tell me which player do I like the absolute most in terms of value being taken on day two, I actually think it's Radons out there from North Dakota State, but I rank these based on how I think they could ultimately get drafted. Now, do I think that these next three players or four players are going to replace Trent Brown? No, I do not. But I could see the Raiders going out and finding more players just to add some depth. The one name that you see on screen to keep in mind, Larnell Coleman from University of Massachusetts. Obviously, Mike Mayock, he's got his old ties up there in, uh, in the Boston area and up in Mass. But also, they had a virtual meeting with Larnell Coleman. So keep that name in mind. He's a good player. He won the award for like one of the best guards in college uh, football. But he's going to be a right tackle in the National Football League. So go down in the comments. Let me know. Name an offensive tackle that the Las Vegas Raiders should draft. If you don't like any of those names, it's all good. That's why I ultimately make this show here. So go ahead. Let me know. Name an offensive tackle that you think that the Raiders could go out and draft this upcoming year. Now, let's do a quick recap of my Trent Brown replacements. Mitchell Rents here from the Raiders Report. We're going to be breaking down some Trent Brown replacements since... The Las Vegas Raiders decide to trade their right tackle to the New England Patriots, saving them $14 million in 2021. The deal, this one has been in the works for days. Trent Brown has come out basically and has said how happy that he was, and it's to no surprise. This guy never wanted to be a Raider. When the Raiders gave him a record-breaking deal of four years, $66 million, 
36 million guarantee. It absolutely blows my mind that somebody could not want to be able to play for a team that did that for you. Trent said that he plays for his name on the back. He doesn't play for the name on the front. You play for the team on the front so they remember the team on the back. So sayonara to Trent Brown. It's time to find a replacement. Why? Because the offensive line for the Raiders, it's very, very thin right now, especially at right tackle. You got Sam Young, who's going to be a free agent. No offense to Jones Smith. I don't trust him either. Now, you could potentially see the Raiders bring back a guy like Denzel Good, which I do fully anticipate them doing. And remember, Denzel Good played left guard last year for an injured Richie Incognito. He also played a little bit of right tackle because Trent Brown never even really played whatsoever. And then you got Sam Young, who I actually do not think that Sam Young is going to come back. I am going to bet my money that a guy like Denzel Good does come back. Because when Sam Young played, he was good for one game, and then it was just like close your eyes because it's so hard to watch him try to play right tackle. There's a reason why he's played for six or seven different teams. He just can't quite get it done. So try to predict this. Who will be the Raiders' right tackle in 2021? I want you to comment below. If you got a crystal ball, let me know where I can find one because this is going to be something that I bring up on the Raiders report over and over again. Who will be the Raiders' right tackle in 2021? If you think you know, go down in the comments and try to let me know. So if you do try to replace them, one of the players that we're going to be looking at here is the free agency market. So we're going to start here with Daryl Williams at number one. We'll go through these pretty quickly here. At number two also is a player like Rick Wagner, who he was released by the Green Bay Packers. At number three, another player to keep in mind because I like him a lot is Kelvin Beecher from the Arizona Cardinals. Probably the best bang for your buck. If you were to ask me which player I think was the most likely, I actually think it's probably between Rick Wagner and Kelvin Beecham. A guy that has some experience playing in the AFC West at number four, it's Mike Remmers, who is coming off his best season probably of his entire career. He didn't allow a single sack last year. And at number five, a potential Trent Brown replacement in free agency, it's Kyle Long. Long retired in 2020, tried to get healthy, and when he's been healthy, he's been phenomenal. And every single season that he's played over 15 games, Kyle Long has been a pro bowler. Sure, they were his first three years in the NFL, but I would also love to be able to see another Long back with the Raiders. The other option the Raiders could do is this. You could potentially move Colton Miller to right tackle. Now, when he first came out of UCLA... He was athletic enough where he could play left tackle and right tackle because they wanted to be able to try to keep Donald Penn at left tackle. Now, if let's say the Raiders do decide to do this, you better go out and try to get one of these top left tackles on the free agent market. Trent Williams is probably the number one guy. Then you got Alejandro Villanueva. He's my number two. And then Russell Okun. These are the top three left tackles on the free agent market. But the only way I'm going to bring in one of these players is if you're confident enough that Colt Miller can play right tackle. Now, let's just say you don't want to spend big on free agency and you got a few players to keep in mind in the draft. Obviously, Mike Mayock, he's the draft guru. At least he's supposed to be. Here are five names that I want you to keep in mind that could be potential Trent Brown replacements. And I do believe if the Raiders want to take one of these players here. They do probably have to take him at 17. I personally wouldn't take Jalen Mayfield, Samuel Cosme, or Alex Leatherwood at pick 17. I don't even know if I would take Tevin Jenkins there, but I know that these are some players that are on the Raiders' radar. Now, maybe you want to draft somebody on day two in the second round. James Hudson, Spencer Brown, Dylan Radons, more names to keep in mind. So what I try to do here, y'all, is show you the top players that the Raiders could sign a free agency. Maybe the Raiders could just move Colt Miller to right tackle. Maybe you just re-sign Denzel Good, or you go out and you find somebody in the 2021 NFL Draft.